Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. I will not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it is gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. That's the litany against fear from Frank Herbert's Dune. Uh, I know a lot of uh, sci-fi people are very familiar with that. And I know it's something I've come back to often ever since uh, I saw the, uh, the first Dune movie where that comes out, long before I even read the book. And part of it's because of my interest in fear and my love of horror films and what scares us and how that plays into culture at large. And there's one thing that I have seen again and again and again, and it's that very often we allow our fear to control us. And that can be a real problem. We seek safety and security and comfort in everything, especially now. And we forget very quickly that everything that makes life worthwhile is a risk. There is an element of danger involved in it, and an element of fear. Sometimes legitimate fear, sometimes fear that we allow ourselves to spiral out of control and overwhelm us. And that's something that we have to be very aware of, especially when things in the world get a little crazy like they have been lately. We soak in a culture of fear these days. It's thrown at us all the time by our media, by our entertainment, uh, and by just the social media sphere is really good at spinning things in a very fearful way. When we're afraid, we don't think clearly. Our minds get clouded as we think of all of the horrible possibilities about what may come from any action we take. Fear can paralyze us and make us miss out on good things in life. And it can equally prevent us from doing the right thing in any given situation, even if we know exactly what the right thing is. Doing it may be too scary to actually follow through on. And that, that cowardice, is what leads good people to do bad things in many situations. It's that inaction, that inability to do the right thing because you're afraid to do it that pushes you into doing the wrong thing, even though you know it is wrong. So fear clouds the mind and freezes the body. And being brave isn't about not being afraid. Being brave is about facing your fear. It's about allowing it to wash over you. It's about not giving in to the temptation of comfort and safety. But fear can also be twisted into many different things. The biggest and most dangerous of those is anger. Because that is how we defend ourselves. We push away the things that scare us. We dehumanize the people who scare us. We come up with ways to justify lashing out to remove the things that scare us from our presence. Fear serves a purpose. It heightens our awareness. It allows us to recognize things that may be dangerous. But those same things that may be dangerous are also the opportunities for us 
to discover more about ourselves, to improve ourselves and the world we live in. Fear motivates us, not always in good ways. It keeps us from doing things that we want to do, but we're afraid of taking the risk. We're afraid of risking harm or discomfort. We're afraid of failing. The truth of it is, the reality of it is, that anything that brings us joy stands an equal chance of causing us pain. Those things that help us grow stand a chance of tearing us down. And those things that make us and our endeavors great are the same things that stand a chance of destroying us. Love is dangerous. Compassion is dangerous. Freedom is dangerous. There's no escaping that danger. There's no escaping that bit of fear. So what you have to do is you have to be willing and able to face your fears, to stand up to them, to understand them, to not allow yourself to cloak them in candy shells that allow you to wave them away like they're no big deal, and to not become angry at them and seek to destroy that which you fear. Because that, that anger created as a response to fear only brings more destruction into the world. Destruction, not creation. What brings creation, what brings growth, what brings everything that we say we want to see in the world into being is facing our fears and allowing them to wash over us, allowing them to run past us, and allowing ourselves to be able to weather that storm of fear and afterwards look around and go, this is what we have accomplished because we faced the danger, because we faced the fear. And I want to know, what fears have you overcome? And what fears have you learned later on were holding you back? Tell me in the comments down below. If you like the things I have to say, give me a thumbs up down there. Don't be afraid. If you're subscribed, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you can get notified uh, as I put these out. Uh, still going every day for a little while. And if you know anyone else who is interested in getting involved in this conversation, or might be, tell them to uh, come, on, come on and check it out, share this with them. Uh, and uh, bring them into the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.